That was a very balancing uh, energy that came through. I can almost feel in my own body how it was, you know, the energy was larger on one side and shifted over to the other side. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah it uh, made my spine kind of extend out and kind of straighten me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, felt, I felt that uh -huh. too, like it was pulling uh -huh. something up, you uh -huh. know. Something to do with what we were talking about. So, um, yeah, I do need, I, I usually try to keep this uh, under one hour so we can upload it on Instagram, but we can cut this. Do you have anything to do after this or no? Do you have some time? Yeah, I have time. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah. Because... I want to talk about this uh, lion's gate that we are approaching, but there's something there connected to what we have been talking to, talking about today. Is there something that you have picked up too? Can you talk a bit about it? What, what is lion gates? Because everybody has uh, the different, you know, the different uh, interpretation. What do you say? In yeah. Inter Thank interpretation. You. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> about what yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i'd say it's um i don't know and i like a, i like visionary stuff right so with my visionary stuff i see you know two lions almost at a guard you know a guard uh, with a you know kind of giant circle entrance that that is the gate and so it's kind of like this i don't know i I like the word, you can use the word courage, you know, type of thing. It's kind of building up this, this courage, building up this, this energy to be able to push forward in the things that you need to be uh, pushing forward in. So it's kind of this uh, getting the spirit of the lion, if you will, within yeah. you. Uh, so you get this, you know, courageous, you get this kind of uh, push forward, this room, you know. Um, but uh, it, I haven't done too much, like, full on research on the specifics of it and all that type of stuff i only kind of just feel the energy and the energy is like from the 777 is kind of getting rid of stuff and then this one's pushing you forward for that next thing that you're about to do you know yeah because it's something with you know we weave our own reality so we are you know releasing from the the past and it's kind of repeating itself because we are we have been <laughs> releasing so much from the past for so many years right now. So it feels almost like empty words when we say, but there's still work to be done with releasing. So this portal, once again, a lot of people have cleansed and, and released things that aren't working out for them. So... And moving into, I, I can also see, you know, when, when we're talking about Lionsgate, there, there are so many pictures that are coming, but I can definitely see those two lions on each side of this portal, almost like a throne uh, with mm -hmm. this huge portal behind it. Also connected to the heart and the Blu-ray series. Mm -hmm. um, and... Um, I also get a lot of energy from the ancient, um, ancient Egypt. Yes, yeah, I can feel that as well. Yeah, yeah. So, I think it's the yeah. color of it that's coming up. It's not just the the energy of the Egypt. For some reason, when I think of lions and lions gate, you get that kind of orange, uh, yellow kind of energy, so to speak. And those were fairly big colors in Egypt. You know, it's even just the sand that is around them, the pyramids with the gold cap and you know, all that type of stuff. Uh, they, a lot of their, their paintings, they painted the gold on the, on the body, all that type of stuff. And so the, the, even the colors just kind of pop uh, from, from Egypt from that. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> mm, no, please do, do just <laughs> anything that comes through because I know that you... For those who doesn't know Cody, Cody is a channeler and he channels a whole lot more than, than we probably ever know because when you are speaking, you usually are channeling when you start to explain. So uh, I really would appreciate if you just dive into 
talking more about these energy that are coming in because I do know that you are feeling them. And I do also know that you have this huge knowledge with the ge geometric symbols. And there are so many symbols connected to this portal and Egypt. And you have the blue ray that is coming in and you have the collective of Sirius. Yes, yeah. Well, the, the image of geometrics that I'm seeing are a little hard to explain within just, just words because I can say, oh, there's circles here, circles here, with the triangles mixing up within the square right here. You know, it's, it's kind of all layered within that kind of one. Like if you were to debut it straight on, it's like a 2D, you know, just kind of flat picture. But when you feel into it, it becomes 3D, 4D, you know, that type of thing. It kind of expands out onto itself. It makes it a little bit more complicated to explain. Um, but uh, the feeling is very, it, it would seem complicated when you look at it, like overwhelming the amount of geometry that, that you see with it. But it's, it feels very comforting, you know, um, because, you know, you do have the, the spheres on either side and that's kind of connected almost like a, the flower of life type of thing where there's tons of spheres but it's the expanded flower of life where it's the fruit of life so it's more solid within the actual spheres the eight spheres itself and then you got the triangles that are in between those which are kind of almost making up a merkaba but not completely it's almost an offset merkaba and then those are encased within this square <laughs> um so i'm not sure that it doesn't really explain much of anything. It's just more of the image that I saw from it. But there's a vibration. It's an energy connected to those uh, yeah. symbols. So, and and okay. for me, at least, when you are talking about it, uh, I, I, I can paint or see these pictures within my head. And I also yeah. started to feel the energy that when you are talking about it. So, and they somehow are these symbols that you are talking about. They are connected to this portal. So why, why are they there? Because every symbol has a significant importance. It means something, it's drawing energy to something, and um, it's, it's, um, it's this constant expression like the law of five that we were talking yes. about. It's, it's this constant movement of change. Mm -hmm. And it's repeating itself because Lion Gates will always happen in August 8th. So it's like a pillar of light that day, the energy will peak. It's, it's already starting to happen and will, and will continue to happen after, after August 8th. But, you know, there's a flow of energy that is somehow a bit changed from the past years that has been yes yeah well within most cycles if you will uh because the line gate is just another cycle mm. you're always going to be going up one step you know you're you're going to be having the if it's like a you know a spiral going up you know type of thing you're starting you go up and you stop at the same point but just one level higher one level higher, one level higher. And that's the same thing with this energy is that it might seem very similar because they're in the same place over and over again, but there's always constant change with it, even that cycle. And this energy is a little bit more, I don't, know, I don't want to say solid, but within the, the square that I saw that's kind of encapsulating the other geometric, it seems more contained, if you will. And then the, the, fruit of life, the eight circles is kind of representing of, of actual life here. So you're solid within the life. And then the Merkaba uh, kind of offset is not a full Merkaba. It's almost like the offset Merkaba is trying to readjust your actual Merkaba, you know? So it's like trying to uh, balance that out. Um, and then I got images of the Egypt as well, but there was water within it. And I'm not sure if that's just the Nile, but I, I felt like the water was closer to the actual pyramids itself and so it was like this energy of the solid you know rock pyramid with water all around it um and so there's like you know a, a softness to to the structure uh, it's it's a lot of images that were just kind of coming in so i can't really connect too much of it um but yeah, it's, 
And it's but they are messages. Work. So you're yeah. receiving messages. I also had this word solid in my hand. So it definitely mm -hmm. is a change of energy. And it feels pretty good because the, the past years has been pretty similar in energy, kind of messy. Even though we are moving up, it, it has been kind of messy. But now it seems to, to have this movement within itself, but in a solid way. It's, it's yes. like yes. it's almost in a container, like, like you said, it yes. contained energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and there's always going to be uh, work to be done. You know, see, so like you said, there it's, it seems like it's constantly doing it and we're constantly getting rid of stuff and all that type of stuff. But it's part of life, if you will. It's it, once you've completely gotten rid of everything, there's nothing more to be done, then you die you you leave existence because you finished you know you, within this time you can change uh, your your um theme that you're going to be living so you can have more than one theme within one lifetime but when you finished it it's like well what do i do now you, you move on to the next life or you move on to a different theme which would have even more things for you to work on and so there's constant things to be done you've never finished you know so unfortunately you're, you're just never finished yeah. yeah well that is a blessing because where everybody is yeah. is striving to get to a higher level of consciousness and and that is the the uh the change that we are all going through and uh mm -hmm. those who are on that level can't wait to leave until to the next level so yes yeah yes. enjoy life mm -hmm. while we are here right exactly. um <laughs> But um, I can't I can't let go uh, yet of the the energy. So we have made it clear it's a new it's a it's a different energy. It feels more solid. Um, you have also felt the water. Um, I also see in the shape of the pyramid or the triangle and the sphere that that you were talking about. Uh, connected to the top and the bottom bottom mm -hmm. of the uh, pyramid and um, and Sirius Sirius mm -hmm. and the blue ray. So what what would you say about the blue ray? Yeah, well, when I think of blue, I always connected with throat chakra and everything that is connected with the voice and kind of uh, speaking your true self. Uh, so it's, it does kind of come back to truth. And Sirius was a pretty uh, um, and you know advocates but um there's a lot of truth that comes through with the blue ray basically and so there might be an awakening of of truth within yourself or within others and so there might be stuff that gets revealed that allows you to be more of yourself or allows others to be more aware of uh you and and your values what you want um and uh, also just the blue ray is very calming so it's it's a good energy to have when there's major change major kind of upheaval of stuff that you're trying to get rid of you need that calmness to be able to get through it in a you know a flowing way you don't want it to be all erratic and chaotic when you're trying to fix something you know when you're trying to resettle into something new you want that calmness so that it makes it easier to do that mm. i am gonna go back to what you said um that we are, you know, the energy of, um, what did you exactly say? Well, well the thing is that, that I have sense that, as I said, it, it has been pretty similar energy for the past mm -hmm. years. And it, to me, it's like stairs between two levels, uh, two floors. So, so you are taking one, one year is one step on the ladder or, or the stair up to the next level or, or the floor. And now we are actually landing on that floor or that level uh, within this, this particular portal um, or lion gate. And, and the awareness of your inner power, your, your mm -hmm. awareness of who you are as a human being is somehow amplified during this time and i have also sense the, the the word reveal and i do think mm -hmm. that is is more like there there will land a consciousness of of who you actually 
your 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 power, your superpower. Yeah, yeah. yeah your mm -hmm. superpower is a human being. Yes, yeah. The the immensity of how much you have to control, or not really control, control is not the exact word, but it's how much you can affect your reality, how much you can be involved with it. You're not just a, a passenger on a, you know, kind of just laying back, you know, you, you are involved with your life. And therefore this is kind of empowering you to be more involved and to know that you do have the power to, you know, to do the things that you actually want to do. You know, it's a, to become more of who you are. <laughs> yeah, and be be aware of what you want to to do and and proceed. Yeah, definitely. And that is also something that I have noticed within uh, the community around the globe here that people are actually finding their passions about what they want to do, what they want to go with their lives, and and things are starting to fall in place if you can say that um still doesn't mean that people do need to quit their jobs or or get rid of their family members or connecting with other family members or, or whatever mm -hmm. but but you're making changes within yourself that opens up possibilities to other things around you mm -hmm. yeah exactly it's uh, when you are able to embody your true self the people around you that might not be uh, not good for you, but that don't resonate with you will fall away. And therefore other people will come into your life that will be more represented, more uh, capable of um, interacting with you better, you know, all that type of stuff will come in. Uh, and so it's when you finally like kind of reveal your true self, the path that is most beneficial to you opens up faster if you're trying to hide it and kind of you know uh, you, you find your true self but then you try to cover it up because it's not gonna you know work with those people then you're just doing a disservice to yourself if you become that true person you things might change in your life but change is constant you can't be afraid of that you can just be hopeful and kind of uh looking forward to the things, the opportunities that will come to make your life more of what you want to live. Mm. And it also feels like this is the next step or the next phase in the ascension process. So we have this collective awakening that has been proceeding for over a couple of years now. And now we are collectively moving into another phase. Um, do you call it phase? Yes, phase. Yeah, yeah, phase. Yeah, phase. Yeah, phase. Yeah, phase. Um, yeah where where you actually are practicing everything that you have uh, yearned for yeah. so to speak yes, yeah all that you've gathered all the information all that type of stuff all the practices the lessons that you've kind of gone through now is a good time to actively use those you know to to kind of mm. better yourself and better the collective consciousness yeah. mm. <laughs> that's perfect so there you have it folks uh, we have just revealed what's going to happen on August 8th and what has led up to August 8th and the Lion Gate and what is coming after, what we can looking forward to. Mm -hmm. So you have had a Nostradamus experience right now. <laughs> yes. I'm so glad that you came with words to that. Yes. Uh, the other amazing thing, Cody, is that everything now that we've been just tossing in there around the lion's gate is actually connected to the laws the foundational laws mm -hmm. yep. yeah. so that so, was not mm -hmm. a flu from the the divine and this is uh, something that is obviously planned oh yes yeah it's uh, all the synchronicity has fallen into place so perfectly <laughs> yeah it just uh, it just what was a light bubble you know, went on in there and uh, in my head and, and when I made that connection that this is like a hand in a, in a, what, no, I'm, I'm not going to do these, these uh, word <laughs> expressions because they are not working for me today. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, everything is perfectly divinely guided mm -hmm. and, and uh, mm -hmm. these laws are definitely l connected to to the time frame that we are going through so these 
levels of mastery will be somehow guidance tools for what's going to happen after yeah nice yeah August day. yeah yes yeah there'll be tools there'll be ways of thinking that allow you to truly manifest or experience what you want to become your true self it kind of they will eventually lead to you becoming a, a master of your own life you know mm. yes. <laughs> interesting very interesting well i love that and uh i love that we are making these connections between these laws and uh what's actually happening right now um impressive yeah <laughs> Is there something you want to add, Cody? Um, yeah, there's nothing that's popping up. I guess uh, it's ready to, to close. Or, uh, the only thing I just say is, you know, flow with love. Always, you know, flow with love. <laughs> and, uh, well, do I have anything mm -hmm. profound to say? <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Peace, love, and understanding. Peace. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Sure. Navigate yeah, right. safely through universe's uh, mm -hmm. corner or pillars mm -hmm. of light. And mm -hmm. yes, we will be back in uh, probably two weeks. Um, mm -hmm. So we will do the five levels of mastery connected to five laws. And so we will start with law one, cryptic, mm -hmm. and probably law two, nocturnal. Yeah. So that mm -hmm. is what we will focus on then. So thank you very much, everyone who has been joining in here. And please do write some uh, questions about this. So we have something to work with you on when we get back in two weeks. And uh, thank you, Cody, for being here and sharing your knowledge. Yeah, thank you for hosting <laughs> and guiding me through that. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that is a divinely uh, guidance divine guidance yeah mm -hmm. well thank you everyone and uh, it's been uh, very nice to have you all here so see you within two weeks love you all bye bye